So I've seen a lot of questions from people and GoPro owners about why Quick for Desktop won't work. Why won't it support their brand new GoPro Hero 11? Why can't they transfer files using Quick to their desktop? And why can't they get GPS data on their video using Quick for Desktop? Well, there's a very good reason for that. And in this video, we're gonna look at those reasons and what the solutions are. So sit back, relax. This is Demon View. Hi there, and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you watching. In this video, we're gonna be looking at GoPro's Quick for Desktop, why it may not be working for you, and what your alternatives are, and what GoPro have announced is coming in 2023 for software users. So if you could do me a quick favor before we start and click those like and subscribe buttons to give this channel a boost, it will be appreciated. This is not a sponsored channel. All the videos are my own truthful opinions and there's no bottom paid for content here like you see on other channels. So click those like and subscribe buttons. It doesn't cost you a thing to do and it really helps fund these awesome videos. Speaking of which, on with the video. So for those of you who are not familiar with GoPro software, here's a quick little history lesson for you. When the GoPro Hero 2 was released, you were able to edit video on your desktop using a piece of software called GoPro Studio. Now this software was actually pretty nifty, you could do a lot with it. However, for professional users, it just wasn't good enough, and for amateur users, it was actually pretty daunting to use. And I myself found it to be particularly kind of unstable and prone to random crashes. So years later, GoPro would introduce a new Windows app called Quick. But first it was actually combined with GoPro Studio so you could make all your color framing adjustments in GoPro Studio. And then to edit it, you would actually import it into Quick for Desktop. So that was a bit weird. I mean, that's kind of like working backwards in a way. Usually you want to assemble all your clips, put them into a video, then trim them, edit them and adjust colors. So it was confusing for a lot of people and again, prone to crashing. Eventually GoPro would drop GoPro Studio, part of things altogether and just focus on the quick side of things. This annoyed some users, Quick just wasn't a very good video editor in their opinion. It was a simple drag and drop editor that didn't allow you to do much with your footage and it was very limited, confusing to use and again, prone to crashing. So professional editors wouldn't touch it and beginner editors not only didn't like it, they also have a plethora of other video editing programs out there to use with their GoPro. This meant that GoPro were investing a lot of time, effort and money into trying to program, sustain and improve a piece of video editing software that nobody was using. That's pretty much like pouring money down the toilet and flushing it daily. Yet this is kind of where GoPro found themselves, supporting an unliked program that was hardly being used, wasn't that reliable and weren't charging people for it. Not only that, there were other free and paid apps out there for editing video and people could use those on their PC, professional and drag and drop software. With GoPro stock going lower and lower, GoPro suddenly had the great idea how to save themselves money. Ditch that horrible software and the staff working on it, and that's pretty much exactly what they did over four years ago. So, yes, if you're trying to use GoPro Quick on your desktop, you're basically trying to use software that's over four years old at this point. It's discontinued, unsupported, out of date, and just doesn't work. The last camera it fully supported was the GoPro Hero 7. It won't fully work with the GoPro Hero 8 or later cameras. Those cameras use different USB drivers that Quick for Desktop was never designed to recognize. They store their GPS data in a completely different format, meaning Quick for Desktop won't recognize the GPS data either. And with the Hero 11 exclusively using HEVC video and 12 gigabyte chapter sizes, that's gonna mean more issues when trying to use this old, out of date, unsupported, discontinued software. Now, obviously there's been a lot of complaining from users who want to use Quick for Desktop. There are some out there who are like that old man on the mountain, you know, I ain't moving on. I don't care, I'm staying right where I am. Well, there are some new users that are confused by GoPro support forums that link directly to this old, out of date, discontinued, unsupported software and go and download it and then wonder why it doesn't work. People are confused because the Quick app for Android and iOS is updated, supported and works well and they want the same experience on their PC as they don't want to edit video on the tiny phone screen. Alas, that's what they're stuck doing. Or are they? You see, there is light at the end of the tunnel for people who want the experience of Quick but on a larger screen. And in fact, I can give you two options straight away if you like editing with Quick and this is something that you really want to do. So let's get into it. If you're using a Samsung phone, and maybe other devices support this too, I don't know, I use Samsung, get yourself a USB-C to HDMI cable. In fact, I've got a nice long one right here. And what you can do is simply plug this into your phone and plug the HDMI end into any monitor or TV that has a HDMI port on it. Then you do one more thing, which was pair a Bluetooth mouse to your phone. Guess what? 
Now you can use your phone full screen on that monitor or TV and you can edit using quick because you only need a mouse to do so. But you get that full screen experience. You're not like staring at this tiny little handheld screen. You're working on a big monitor or a big TV and you can edit your video using quick. And option number two is somewhat similar, especially if you're using a Samsung phone. You can download Samson Dex, which is basically an Android emulator that goes on your PC or laptop. You can connect your phone up and then you can start editing quick directly on your PC by communicating with your phone. Now I've actually done videos in the past where I've shown people how to edit videos using quick and that's exactly what I used. I used Samson Dex. I was actually editing on my phone, but on my PC, if that makes sense. So therefore you've got two options straight away if you're a Samsung slash Android user, and that is to actually edit on a PC or a monitor if your phone supports that type of thing. And here's an example of me using Quick and accessing it through the Samsung phone using Samsung DeX. And this looks the exact same and works the exact same way if you're using the USB-C to HDMI cable, this is exactly what you'll see on your monitor. And that gives you full access to the Quick app for mobile, and you can edit any of the footage that you have, which is pretty cool and it basically works exactly like it would work on the phone, except you have a much bigger monitor and you can use a mouse. You can even access your cloud software here too. So that's pretty cool. So where does that leave everybody else? Are they out in the cold? Will they never be able to use Quick for desktop again? Well, the current version of Quick, which is over four years old, unsupported, discontinued, out of date and should not be used. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to use that. In fact, even the music libraries are out of date as the music, which isn't that great, was only licensed up to a certain year. But don't worry, there is light at the end of the tunnel for you guys because GoPro actually announced last year that they would be working on new software for desktops and it would be released in 2023. So one of the things that really saved GoPro's butt was the fact that they launched GoPro Plus their subscription service and combined it with their app. And what that meant is that they re did release the free version of their app, but it was very limited. But if you had a GoPro Plus subscription, because somebody suggested that uh, the GoPro Plus subscription should allow full access to the app and vice versa, that, uh, you know, basically people were buying this app, they were paying for that GoPro Plus subscription and that started making GoPro money. So now they've actually figured out that if they make a desktop app that also takes advantage of the GoPro Plus subscription, this is gonna make them more money. So therefore they no longer have houses that people are living in for free. And that does make a lot of sense. After all, if you're gonna be working on an app and you're gonna have the staff to develop it, support it and continue to improve it, then you really do wanna be getting an income from that. And that's the great thing about uh, this new software announcement from GoPro because basically you will be able to edit using a quick drag and drop editor if that's what you really want, but it's also rumored to sync with your online cloud account and possibly online with the uh, edits that you make on your phone. So therefore everything is synced. Now, is there a release date for this software? No, unfortunately not. And you know, it does take time to get these things out and ready. I would really like to see it out by at least July, but I'm thinking, you know, if there is gonna be a target date, it's probably gonna be in September with the release of the next GoPro model. So there you have it. If you're one of those people who likes editing with Quick and you want desktop experience, there's two ways to do it there if you're using Samsung slash Android. And if you wanna just wait around a bit, there is new software coming. So hopefully you found this video interesting. And if you did, click those like and subscribe buttons because like I said, it doesn't cost you a thing to do so. It only takes a few seconds to do so. And it really does help out with these channel views. So until next time, cheerio. So um, if you're not making money with your GoPro Hero 11, you're missing out on a pretty good revenue stream. And one of the great ways to do that is through the GoPro Hero Awards. Now, if you have a GoPro Hero 11 or a GoPro Hero 11 Mini, you can enter the uh, Million Dollar Challenge, which is coming up this year. And uh, basically, you shoot footage, you submit it to GoPro. If it's good enough, you win a share of a million dollar prize. However, there's also daily challenges that they do. Photo challenges are pretty much anything cool looking. So you should be you know, filming stuff or taking photographs with your GoPro Hero 11 or any other GoPro for that matter, submitting it to gopro.com and the relevant award section. And you never know, you could win a prize. I'm a GoPro award winner and I'm working on my million dollar challenge video right now as we speak. I'm starting to do the prep for it. Who knows? Maybe I'll get there, but you won't know until you try. So if you're not taking advantage of that and 
daily submitting shots and videos to GoPro in the hopes of winning a prize, you are missing out. So give that a go if you want to make some cash with your GoPro. And in the coming weeks, I'll cover some other ways you can make money from your GoPro. Until then, cheerio.